kita tuh nggak boleh berada di restoran for more than five people. So it was like the first social distancing. Guys, welcome back to my world, Armai Doremi. I hope you are having a great time at home during Ramadan and then selama menjalankan ibadah puasa bagi kalian menjalankannya. Some of you ask me about the situation in Boston. Also, I did New York have so many cases right now. I'm gonna try to explain and answers all of your questions. So if you want to know, kenapa United States has the highest number of the coronavirus cases in the world? And if you want to know apa-apa aja uh, yang gak government like went against this case also if you want to know like when exactly the country will be reopening please stay tuned in this video watch until the end don't forget to subscribe my channel Armai Doremi don't forget to like and comment below if you have any questions after this video so stay tuned so guys as some of you may know that US has more than 1 million cases in the world with angka kematian lebih dari 66 ribu orang dan hanya 170 ribu sekian yang recovered nah di Massachusetts sendiri ada sekitar lebih dari 60 ribu confirmed cases with angka kematian mencapai 4 ribu nah bagi kalian yang gak tahu uh, apa sih Massachusetts itu so Massachusetts it's a state itu uh, similar like a province in Indonesia like Sulawesi, Java, Sumatra the place where I was born and Boston itu is the capital city of Massachusetts does that make sense? So Boston itself has more than 9,000 cases and had 2,000 people who recovered and more than 400 people died already. So the states of New York had more than 300,000 cases with more than 24,000 total deaths. It's really high compared to Massachusetts. Don't focus too much on the number because the numbers are always changing. Setiap hari angkanya berubah-ubah, semakin lama semakin naik because it's like spreading so fast and juga it can be a problem. Why? Because ternyata dari salah satu study di Miami, Florida, there is probably 100,000 cases which the total akan lebih banyak kalau misalnya digabung dari angka yang sekarang kita hitung. So don't focus too much on that. Just focus on how to make your life uh, safe, healthy by staying at home and eat properly, doing something good at home. Don't go out, stay home. Okay? So why does the United States have the highest number of cases in the world? And why New York has a lot? Stay tuned throughout the video. Ini. Don't go anywhere. Okay, let's flash back. Guys. So you know I was in Indonesia in December. I came back to Boston in January. Saat gue mendarat January 14 in Boston, there was no cases. Also, when I arrived, itu there is no background check. So waktu gue di LA yang biasanya LA itu lebih ketat daripada Boston, nggak ada dicek tentang kesehatan. However, guys, January 14, gue tuh sakit. I had a cough, like a very very bad cough, and then fever for two weeks, three weeks. I was staying at home because I didn't want to go to the doctor. I couldn't even move myself. Nah, in February, biasanya itu udah kecium kecium, tapi belum ada media yang publish kalau Boston tuh punya case. Nah, tapi setelah gue research research nih, ternyata uh, the first case in Boston itu pada tanggal 1 Februari 2020. Pada saat seorang siswa dari UMass Boston uh, came back from his city Wuhan, China. At the time, Massachusetts was the third state that reported had a coronavirus. Okay, guys, listen carefully. January when I came back, there was a case. February 1st, first case in Boston, and March. Do I remember March 10th? is the time where I was in the hospital. So March 10, Northeastern knew that I had a very bad cough. I went to Northeastern Health Center and then they figured out that I had a very, very bad cough at the time. So they forced me to move to the hospital. Kenapa mereka paksa gue untuk ke hospital? Because pada saat itu, the governor of Massachusetts declared that we had confirmed case of coronavirus. So everyone was freaking out. And then Northeastern also knew that I just came back from Asian country. Pada saat governor of Massachusetts menghimbau seluruh masyarakat Amerika untuk ke berhati-hati because of the virus. Pada saat itu juga, uh, Northeastern Health Center penuh kayak pajak. 
guys basically the statement was like hey kalau misalnya kalian sakit kalau misalnya kalian ada symptoms ini itu ini itu please uh, visit the doctor to check whether or not you had a virus or something like that so all of the students were freaking out guys and the line was so long so what happened after that rumah sakit gue itu di dalam pengawasan yang sangat ketat menurut Eastern because pada saat itu setelah gue ada rumah sakit itu ada satu orang murid yang terkena COVID-19 that person was also coming from China setelah uh, mereka tahu bahwasanya ada student North Eastern yang kena COVID-19 and then North Eastern decided to close the school for a couple of weeks along with the government's regulation everything was online at the time let's flash back a little bit March 1st until March 8th the total confirmed case itu hanya ada 8 March 10 kasusnya udah naik menjadi 130 orang setelah dari situ government took actions So what are they? Gua akan menjelaskan sekarang timeline dari waktu kita belum lockdown sampai lockdown. Listen carefully, guys. 15 March, all school were closed only for three weeks, and the government recommended us to work from home. And all of the stores were still open at the time, but there were restrictions for restaurant and bar. Kita tuh nggak boleh berada di restoran for more than five people. So it was like the first social distancing uh, happened in Boston. So public area like a park itu nggak boleh lebih dari 200 orang. Train and bus yang biasanya operasinya itu sampai 1 a.m. batasin banget. Tapi akhirnya March 23rd itu shut down. As we're close, the bar was closed. All people should work from home. Guys, this is important. March 25th, kita belum ada dipaksa untuk memakai mask. Kita cuma dibilang, oh, wash your hands. Don't forget to put your mask on. But belum dipaksa banget uh, sama gubernur. Uh, karena katanya ada rumors kalau misalnya mau yang pakai mask itu hanya orang yang sakit doang. Lalu dari mulai tanggal 25 itu, gue masih di rumah sakit. Dan setelah gue pulang dari rumah sakit itu, everything was shut down. Seminggu lalu nih guys, seminggu lalu, the governor of Massachusetts itu declare that all of us live in Massachusetts itu dipaksa harus pakai mask. Are you kidding me? Like a week ago after everything happened, uh, semua stores itu kayak uh, tulis di depan store-nya We are not allowed you to come in if you don't wear mask So, Governor of Massachusetts declared bahwasanya kalau misalnya orang yang gak pakai mask kenakan denda 300 dolar Kenapa harus now? Gitu. Kenapa gak before? Jadi intinya telat guys Nah, apa New York banyak banget? Jawabannya simple aja New York City has population density of 66,000 per square mile yang artinya sangat gampang itu virus untuk uh, menyebar dari yang sakit ke orang yang enggak sakit karena mereka itu hidupnya sangat berdempet-dempetan also New York was late to lockdown not until March 20th so New York first lockdown on 20th and then Massachusetts March 23rd still late Another reason, guys, kenapa virus ini cepat banget menyebar di US, especially in the Northeast, because we have like the rain and then cold weather here, yang menyebabkan virus cepat menyebar. Finally, kenapa New York has the highest infection rate is because the subway system yang padat banget dan subway di New York tuh sangat jorok banget, terus bau lembab, seperti yang kalian lihat. Siapa yang melakukan government of the United States banget? yang dilakuin um, government gue gak bisa nyebutin satu-satu because uh, they are a lot jadi guys, President Trump declare the month of May is the, the older American month so, jadi President Trump itu fokus untuk orang-orang yang tua, yang vulnerable but it doesn't mean like Trump doesn't care about younger people he focuses on protecting the nation's seniors like doctor, nurse, people who are working in the front line jadi masing-masing orang itu dibantu dengan cara yang berbeda-beda guys contohnya because United States has lots of cases jadi mereka harus menempatkan orang-orang yang kena COVID-19 di suatu tempat that's called nursing home jadi kalau misalnya di nursing home itu there is no like source and tools gimana dokter-dokter sama nurse-nurse mau kerja ya gak sih? jadi mereka tuh kayak providing lots of tools to the nursing homes all over the state oh, yeah. the state help veterans so mereka dapat health care benefits from the state and government juga helps national guard 
who directly help to volunteer for the testing they can sell food free food for the homeless people and then the people who need it now in terms of money banyak banget uh, yang government lakuin sampai gue juga bingung uh, mau merincikan yang sama lo pada contohnya like CDC for the six hundred million dollar to track the virus and keeps it on the lab jadi kayak researchnya untuk like vaksin mungkin dan uh, government juga memberikan $1,200 to all of the American citizens sama memberikan $376 billion to the American citizens who lost their job and who lost their small business itu contoh-contoh yang paling namanya yang paling sederhana in terms of money ya dan juga masing-masing university in Massachusetts juga membantu contohnya kayak misalnya kampus Western gives like five. 0.8 billion dollars to the students who got impacted for the coronavirus so to close its building right jadi semua students yang tinggal di dormitory kita punya kayak 60 building kita harus meninggalkan buildingnya because we want to like uh, stop the virus karena ada satu student yang kena covid-19 Norison akan mengembalikan uang mereka dan Norison juga memberikan tunjangan buat mereka masih banyak kayak guys and then I hope you can google it so kapan nih ya United States mau reopen kembali awalnya Massachusetts itu mau opening the state itu pada bulan April tapi nggak jadi itu kayak di PHP in after April ternyata mereka katanya mau buka itu bulan Mei the first of May tapi nggak jadi juga eh nggak tahunya kita di PHP in juga dan akhirnya baru-baru ini government wants to reopen the state the country itu pada tanggal May 15 tapi May 15 itu untuk beberapa states doang tapi Massachusetts nggak akan buka sampai May 18 or at the end of the May because we still have more cases and then the government doesn't want to take any risk kalau misalnya mereka akan reopening it doesn't mean they will open all of their businesses jadi ada step-stepnya guys first thing that they want to reopen itu adalah manufacturer dan the business essentials yang lainnya tapi kayak misalnya jeans, restaurants itu tetap akan tutup untuk di stage pertama dan mereka akan lihat apa resultnya saat mereka reopening untuk stage yang pertama setelah reopening pertama itu bakalan ada social distancing lagi for two week untuk kayak menstabilkan uh, situasinya gitu loh guys Amerika punya 50 states dan New York, Massachusetts dua dari antara beberapa states yang ke case nya banyak banget ada juga uh, states-states yang udah reopening sekarang seperti Georgia, Florida, Texas dan bahkan di Texas itu uh, movie theater udah buka ada juga states-states yang gak lockdown guys seperti South Dakota, Utah, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Iowa, Arkansas kenapa states-states ini gak lockdown? karena mereka gak punya population density some of the cities are like just small and cuacanya tuh kayak lebih dry tapi bukan berarti mereka gak ngelakuin social distance mereka justru ngelakuin social distance Uh, karena mereka nggak mau kalau misalnya uh, stage nya mereka itu oops <laughs> mereka nggak mau kalau misalnya stage nya mereka tuh menjadi rusak lah gara-gara yang nggak bisa stay home for a couple of months Jadi, itulah beberapa uh, information that I can give it to you and if you have more questions please just like ask me directly uh, comment to this video you can check this information by yourself because I recorded this on Sunday and then it needs editing it needs like a process and maybe the information has been changing but basically this is the current situation that we have right now and it's don't forget to subscribe my channel Armay Duremi don't forget to like and then comment this video and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye.